Hi everyone, my name is Alex Vela. I'm a Tropica Aquarium Plant Ambassador from North America. This is my first attempt at a high-energy aquascape, and it features plants that were all grown in Tropica's own greenhouses here in Canada. In this video, we'll show you how to maintain a 60cm aquarium, how to deal with some hair algae, trimming some plants, glass cleaning, and finally, a large water change. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so, and leave us a comment. Do you prefer the aquascape before or after maintenance? This aquascape has been running for about 16 weeks now with some minor alterations and it's been relatively successful except for the algae issues, especially amongst the moss. As with all problematic algae, it's important to identify the cause rather than just treating the symptom, otherwise the algae will just return over and over again. In our case, we believe the strong LED lighting may have triggered some algae amongst the slow-growing moss. This is a common issue, especially in newer setups where the moss isn't mature enough to help keep the algae away. The best defense against algae is healthy plant growth and lots of it, in combination with good maintenance practice. Ideally, we could also add more algae eaters, such as a mono shrimp that continually graze amongst the moss. Today, we're going to help eradicate the algae by trimming the affected areas of the moss right back with sharp aquascaping scissors. At the same time as trimming, it's a great idea to siphon away the cuttings to prevent them from reaching the bottom of the tank and potentially taking over other areas in the aquascape. Moss is quite unique in that it sinks in water, as opposed to regular aquarium plant cuttings that float. The act of trimming the moss will not only remove most of the algae, but also help promote new healthy growth that will hopefully be able to defend against future algae. Other measures we could take would be to reduce the photo period from 8 hours to 6 hours, or if your aquarium lighting is dimmable, you could reduce the intensity temporarily. In our case, we'll reduce the photo period to 6 hours and consider adding more algae eating shrimp. There are cherry shrimp in here that do help graze algae too, and these will breed over time to hopefully a larger colony, which will in turn prevent future algae issues. Our next step is to trim the stem plants. In here we have the stunning Ludwigia palustris and the uniquely shaped Hygrophila pinnatifida. Stem plants tend to grow quickly, especially in strong lighting and CO2 injection that we're using in here. So we need to trim them in order to keep them looking attractive, and also to help maintain overall plant growth. If the plants get too overgrown, this can impact on circulation and the blocking of light. Trimming stem plants is almost an art form in itself, and where you trim will have a big impact on the overall aquascape aesthetic. In our case, we're trimming back to encourage new healthy and bushy growth and considering the profile of the overall trim pattern to give the best results. Often, the stem plants don't look their best right after a trim, but after two weeks or so, the new growth should be healthy and vibrant and looking better than ever. Most stem plants produce two new shoots after a trim, so this can be used to create dense bushes. Another tip we can employ in here is to slide the lighting towards the background so it provides more light to the trimmed stem plants and also reduces the lighting at the front. This is helpful because the ephyte plants grow well in less light and the risk of algae also reduces. The more intense light over the Ludwigia palustris and Hygrophila pinnatifida will promote the best colors. This trim and growth cycle is repeated as necessary in order to maintain the desired effect until eventually the lower portions of the stems may need to be discarded of and the top portions replanted. The trimmed stems are simply netted from the water surface and can be used to propagate, given away, or discarded of responsibly. Now that the plants have been maintained, we can carry out other maintenance tasks such as cleaning the aquarium glass. The final part of the maintenance process should always be a water change, as this dilutes any waste organics that may otherwise trigger algae. In high energy aquascapes, we usually recommend a 50% water change. Finally, we add our Tropica Specialized Nutrition Liquid Fertilizer and can now sit back and enjoy our freshly maintained aquascape. So, we hope you enjoyed this new style of video, and if you did, hit the like button and share this video with someone that you think will enjoy it. Take care and bye for now.